Well, folks, back at home park again. I think today I'm going to do a go up pick, Pickle Creek just a little bit and uh, kind of get off up, off trail up here a little bit. Also, I'm hearing somebody up on the outer trail up above. But anyway, get back to what I was saying. Trying something a little different with the uh, lapel mic. See if I can get away with so much here uh, my breed. Probably didn't pick up my heartbeat. This is a good little trail. I came down through here the other day when I was coming down the other side and I was going to show you that across the ridge and I had to cross the creek up here at the head of it. But uh didn't realize at the time that my battery had run down. I just again just a yakking away. This time I uh got the battery pack on again. And it should not be any problems. I'll check up here in a little bit. I forgot to do it before I started. Let me stop over here in just a second. I was in a big hurry to get going. And didn't double check myself here. But I want to be sure. I don't want to be running out in case I decide to go a little longer than I planned. I think thought about it anyway, not really planned, but step over here just for a second. This is part of the part of Crickle. Pick Crickle. Pickle Creek. A little chilly this afternoon. It's not about 2.30. Cloudy, cloudy, cloudy though, that's for sure. Yeah, well, we're about to get a nice little trail where the water's been up there. Let me pause here for a minute and take my camera off and double check and make sure that that uh, my battery pack is working okay. I'll be right back. Come back. Sure glad I decided to stop and check that thing. Sometimes I think my brain's not turned on. I should have. Anyway, it wasn't. Uh, I failed to turn the battery pack on where the camera could run off it. No harm done. Yeah, weather-wise, it's talking about a little bit of snow after sometime later on the night, I guess, early morning. This is Sunday. That make a good, good path right over there where that water ran up along there. <laughs> yeah, well, well. Anyway, onward we go. This gets pretty rocky over here. Up in here. Well, somewhere the other day, I was a, a later rock. It might have been farther up the, up the way here. I was going to tell my hiking buddy Steve about it. Kind of a... Oh, it was shiny. He gets a lot of rock for his uh, Oh, there it is. Well, still here. How about that? Let's see if I can get out of here and get this and lay it over to the side. Well, excuse me if I turn you on your head. There it is. Got a little granite mixed in with it. Put it right here and he I think I think we found some rock in here once before when we was out 
they are kind of scavenging okay that's about the same spot yeah all righty i'll tell him about that guess he won't come out and Well, well, I just seen a snowflake. Mercy me. There's another one. <laughs> oh well, it be all right. I don't know if you can see them or not, but they're sure falling. Just little ones. That'd be all right. I can handle that. Let me get over here and this, uh, all these roots and rocks and stuff here. I hope my camera's not jittering too much. Again, of course, you can see where the water gets up to when it's really running. Look at that stuff down through there. It gets wide and deep through here. folks out here at the, at the other end they're camping there in an RV and I guess and, hmm. okay here we go I was looking at tutorials online about getting away from the uh, breathing noise on the on the video yeah, they got all kind of classes and breathing ways of breathing to eliminate it in the software and you can do all this and do all that and I was thinking Lord Almighty I just soon hear my breathing and spend all that on software a lot of money on software and trying different techniques I was thinking surely there's some other way, so this idea of testing it up next to my camera away from my uh, away from my mouth since this is a sensitive mic this might pick me up a little better and not so much of my breathing we shall see I'm getting a little more Flakes coming in now, snowflakes that is. This trail, pick a quick trail here is not, not very long, but it do have some rock in it. But you gotta crawl over. Take a look on this. See how my camera's still set. Maybe I'm not bouncing you around too much. And there's the trail down there. Okay, I got my pointing device. They won't get my finger too much in the way. <laughs> okay. I don't know, guys. Snowflakes are not quite heavy enough. To, I don't think they'll show on the on the video just yet. Anyway. Last year, March, March, uh, I can't remember now, March something or other, I was over at St. Joe State Park doing some hiking over there to uh, make up for, when I was over there during the summer, got tick disease and it, it just about wiped me out and I didn't want to give up on that trail and let it defeat me so when there was a bit of snow on the ground I took one back over and done that 10 mile loop over there didn't have any trouble with ticks then 
So I do advise you to be careful with ticks, and especially in the summertime. Missouri is, uh, I didn't notice this before. I was looking at a, at a map online after I uh, was hit with them ticks like that. I mean, they, they just crawl all over me like ants. I stopped in the middle of the trail and dust them off and couldn't walk 30, 40 feet, maybe. I had to stop again and brush them off. I had to stop and maybe see them crawling up my, up my boots and stuff. Of course, I didn't have any kind of deed or anything like that. I'm not, not too keen on that, but however, uh, I didn't spray on anything. Plus, it was pretty hot. Very June, last last of June when I done done that. Now you can see where the water's how high it's been over there. I wash that up like that. Amazing, simply amazing. It comes down through here, pretty wicked. But it's making some noise too when it comes down through here like that. Anyway, um, after I had to get an ambulance to come and get me at the house, I couldn't get, I could not even get up on my elbow on the couch and took those guys to pick me up on a stretcher and home up over to the ER. I wasn't no world. I don't know. A couple of three hours, maybe something like that, and they done test this test and that test and. And uh, it was realized that it was tick disease. Maybe after after I got back off the off the hike that day, I remember it was probably I would say uh, at least two or three days I was picking ticks off of me. Pretty wicked. They weren't big ones. Some of them, some of them were, but most of them were little seed ticks. But but that's also a equestrian trail over there. And uh, seen a lot of, well, it's probably about a half a dozen, I guess, horses that passed me over there as I was hiking. But the health department contacted me, and they were wondering, wondering about it. And I Went in and talked to them, and they said they would talk to the park service, but I don't. I don't think they, they, they can really do about it. But I think, now like this is all been burnt. I don't remember seeing it over over at St. Joe like this. They might be in some areas, but not where I was. And that's a pretty well. Tr uh, trail that's been used quite a bit so I'm cautious about going over in the summertime especially where the of course they had the camping area over there you know and you know RV parking in the lakes and the, so we have food you have mice and we have mice you get into the ticks and stuff like that they carry the ticks But anyway, uh, getting back to what I mentioned while I go back, I seen the uh, map of the United States. Get through some mud here, and it showed the. Uh, it was showing the most part, you know, the populated states that listed. It was listed that uh, was bad for ticks, and yeah, I was kind of surprised that Missouri ranked number one at that time. Anyway, well, I don't know about now, but. I don't know how old that map was, but that's pretty wild, I'll tell you. I think I might get off the trail here a little bit. I kind of, I like it up in there. There's a spring up here I wanted to show you. I noticed it here a couple of years ago. Huh? It was out here with my, Steve, my hiking buddy. He just came up out of the ground office little cliff over here 
beside this hill. Come a bubbling up. Nothing big, but it just comes up. It's still running. I see it right here. Right there. Let's see if, I, see if you can see it here. Make sure I'm a, got my head turned down where you can see it. It's right here. Underneath that rock, it comes out of this, I guess it comes out of this hillside. It's water seeping down through there. It keeps it kind of yucky up in here, though. <laughs> Isn't that pretty up there? There, I see a real fine snowflake. I think it'd be pretty nice to see some snow. At least on the video, make it, kind of make it look interesting, I guess. Hmm. Okay. I'm really hoping this uh, strategy of putting my lapel mic up on top with the side of my head next to the camera. I got the camera pointing forward, but I got the lapel mic kind of off to the side. And it just might be the do the trick. Let me climb up this little hillside here. Brought my walking stick today. Again, I, I've worn my heavy jacket. Yeah. Pretty view up here. I imagine a control burn like they've done here will really help with any ticks. They have campgrounds here too, you know, with the RVs and the stuff like that. But uh, while I look at things, they got that big bicycle trail over at uh, St. Joe Park. Uh, 15 miles, I guess, when that goes around the park. It's, black top and that, that uh, plus the equestrian trail they have they get, they get a lot of people from up in the city that comes down on the weekends and stuff and of course a lot of folks from, this, from the area too go out there and it's real just two or three miles from uh, from Farmington I can walk to it up to from the house. There's some pretty good snowflakes. And they it's not a terrible park, it's just more I look at this one. Like I mentioned yesterday. <coughs> I think I'm gonna spend some time over here this year. And kinda of get off some of the the trails a little like I did yesterday and find some spots that's pretty pretty cool. I'm amazed by all these rocks over here come down this bank. Down this hillside rather than not down the bank. You get over here and right down that ravine. Yeah, I imagine as steep as those are the water comes a gushing down through there and making noise over those rocks. Stepped off the edge of a rock. There's some big ones up there. Might have to at some point go up that way up there and uh, check things out on that ridge up there. Yeah, look what I found. Another little 
rock here my buddy Steve would probably like. He's good and white. Hmm. He's more of a rock hunter than I am. He might like that for he put putting him around his around his yard. Oh what we have here. I see some bones, feathers. Hmm. Pretty good sized bird there. I'm curious now what's up there. <laughs> can you see this rock here? Probably can. Wash it off and fill his yard up. I don't forget I'll put that down on the trail down there and when I go back I'll take him put it down there with the rest of them go up a little more here I might pick those other rocks up too on, on the way back and take them to Steve. Save him a trip out here. There might be some other rock hunters. I pick them up. Oops. A little ledge right there. Let me see how we're doing for time here. Yeah, this one's twenty. I don't know if you're picking up the water running down there or not, but I'm zoom in just a Oop. Got these big old gloves on there. Kind of bulky to keep my hands warm. Just a tad chilly. See that water running right right there. See if I can bring it in a little bit closer. That's it. Stick. Nice up here, a little breeze on this hill, but not bad. I 
Let me go around over here. Go back down the hill here. Hmm. Going in sideways here. You send a little at a time. Steep right here. Do you think it'd be would have been interesting to be be around this old world when when it was being formed like this, all the rock and the To see it all happen. <laughs> yeah, it would have been interesting. A few thousand years ago, or longer. I think mankind has been around uh, 15,000, something like that, 15, 16,000 years, give or take a few. These rocks are older than that. Yeah, the snow's come down a little better. Just might be able to see it if it gets any heavier. Won't be able to really tell until I, I do the video. I started one yesterday. My lens is a. I tried dark, darkening it up a little bit and add a little color to it and what and why not. Actually, there's two videos that I, that I connected and I have put a stop in the middle where folks could stop there and pick up a later. And uh, I let it start, and it probably ran for about two hours, I guess, and, and uh, looked at it, and it, it done loaded up and everything, and it was 66 hours and X amount of minutes for completion, I think. I said, oh my goodness gracious, my computer died running that long. <laughs> so I, uh, I stopped it, and... and uh, redid it and took away the uh, the added color and it done it in six hours and I think it's three or four minutes or something like that I'm a matter of fact I'm a it's uploading now to, to YouTube as I'm out here making another one and uh, so I won't fool with the, doing the adjusting the color and all that stuff until I can get a a little faster process than the computer. The old laptop just can't handle it. That's okay, I can get it done in a reasonable amount of time, but 
that 66 eyes are just that just too much to see a, something that's a little more color i was kind of wondering about the everything through here is kind of you know with it being uh kind of cloudy there wasn't much, con wasn't much contrast and stuff so i thought i'd just kind of test it up a little bit but anyway that's enough of that if I'm, I'm gonna park this rock right here pick it up on the way back and get them other ones on down the trail there i'm gonna stop here for a second but when blow my nose i won't make too much noise and scare you half to death let me see how long this is and uh, 28 minutes for, for this one so i'll stop here and begin another here just in a minute or two be right back okie dokie here we go again it's getting a little cooler i think it's pickle creek trail I'm down there where i started or just past where i started at the parking lot and up to the head of it is uh what crosses over going across the, the loop over there that I mentioned you at that south, uh, south loop first pine south loop it crosses up right ahead of this and I think it's three quarters of a mile or something like that not not real long but it is some kind of rugged with these rocks you've got weak ankles you'll sure feel it when you get out of here Yeah, that feels good if it's about 90 degrees out here. Looks like it might be three feet deep right there, maybe. You would take an inch. Then it's starting to come up. Okay. Get back over here. Get on the trail. Put slipped off the edge of that rock. Yeah, the other, the other day when I was over here, coming down, coming from up that direction up there, there was a guy up there and uh, looked like he might have a pair of shorts on. Maybe cut off just about around the knee. He had his feet hanging in that water up there. My goodness, it was cold. He seen me way to cross up there and he got up and left. And, I never did see him after that. I don't know. I was thinking maybe he was troubled about something. He wanted to get away. But I didn't try to contact him or anything. Just in case he was. In some kind of way. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get back to... There's a clump of rock right up there. Probably what I'll do when things get a little greener, I'll take and uh, come back on some of these things. Kind of, for those folks that's not really familiar with out uh, here, they can kind of compare things. And this is, this is a nice little walk, really. If you want to get away and nothing really strenuous. But real texture. Oops, sorry about that. Gotta pick my feet up. I 
I'll jiggle you a little bit. overhead. I heard them the other day too. They do fly over and stuff. I think the, I think the Air, Air Force uh, way south St. Louis, they f fly over this area in their uh, training and stuff. Let me see. Don't let me drop you. Oh, here we go. Just wanted to get over here and kind of Walk along the edge of this. Yeah, one thing for sure, I've mentioned it before in some of my videos. Missouri does not like for rocks. <laughs> yeah, I'll get over. I can, I can spend a lot of time just step off this trail here and uh, make several videos. It would be interesting, I think, like one up there and over there. The other thing I'm liking about this camera, it's got that built-in uh, stabilizer and it sure takes a lot of bouncing out of, out of the videos a lot of it that's the main reason I bought the crazy thing I, tr I tried and tried to walk soft and, with the uh, cell phone and you just can't get away from it unless you get a they got gimbals that I, I've noticed that, that uh, you can mount a cell phone to and it's battery operated and it, it uh, three, it's got three axes on it. Now. Yeah, three axes. And it, it kind of stabilizes the, the video quite well from, from the demos I've seen on YouTube. I think I'd rather have this little camera like this and mount the thing on my head if I can keep it. It's kind of bouncy right now. I need to get a, get a larger uh, strap put around my head and that way it won't, it won't bounce on me. I don't think it's much anyway. And hopefully it's not too much. I've kind of stumbled it two or three times. Yeah, like when I step across something like that and it kind of bounces. But I don't know how much until... Oh, this way, mm, this GP. Oh, tilt sideways here. Sorry if I turned you over. Let's see what I'm looking at here. What you looking at? I know what I'm looking at. Turn around here, look upstream. Downstream, the camera's pretty much staying in the one we're looking. Okay, that'll work. I've got some uh, attachment that uh, supposedly that you can attach your camera to a helmet, but I don't want to be aware I need a helmet. I have a sock cap on now that I can pull down over my ears. And uh, I've seen the uh, guys that's, that run motor, motocross type bikes on the trails and stuff. And they got it mounted to, the, to their helmets. And uh, 
it does good once they got secured and stuff like that so I'm not I don't know if I could if I would I thought well I thought about getting a uh, one of those type of helmets that they use you know for that and they, they got uh, some of them are, are mounted they put their uh, a pale mic type thing on the inside and and the camera's mounted on the side of the helmet. But these guys are kind of kind of pros and they get out and run their bikes on on these long trails and stuff and, which I think is pretty cool. I just gotta remember to keep remember the duck. I got this uh, camera mounted. It's pointing to the. It's right in the center of my forehead there. I tried it on the side. It has a. It's got the wide zoom on it. A right angle, and uh, it. Uh, you can see my cap I got it on. That's one of the reasons I'm trying it in the center. Excuse me for just rambling on. And the main reason I wanted to, I don't know if I've mentioned this before. The main reason I wanted to, uh, a, uh, Propel mic set up is when I was doing it with my uh, cell phone when I turn my head and talking uh, you can tell it on the video I kind of fade out and then back in so when I turn it back around and I didn't think about getting the synchronization bent out on that now this camera does have an internal stereo mic set up on the front of it but uh, when I have the external mic plugged in it it doesn't uh, record through it which is all right there's some more stuff this four step mercy But it did make some noise when that water was running down through here over there. I'm gonna fool around. Trip over my feet here. Kinda of neat over there. Another thing I like about this uh, this camera, and I, I know I've mentioned it before in some of my other videos, is that what it does, I'll make a certain move, I move too fast, it, it, it does a pretty good job of uh, compensating for it, and it catches up pretty quick. Now this water here is just a little bit deeper than what it was back down the way. That's a good Probably right there, a good three feet, maybe three and a half feet, maybe. Just, just in that little area right there. Yeah. Yeah, you can see what's four step over there. It gives me some water coming shooting down through here. And I don't know how or where, but supposedly this Pickle Creek is tied to Pickle Springs down, which is down the road, uh, 10 miles or so. It winds, supposedly winds around back that way and back down to Pickle, uh, Pickle Springs Park, which is about a three mile loop down there. It's pretty nice. didn't have a whole lot of water like it is here but there is a little spring that runs through there 
Okay, let's go up here a little ways. right here on this one then start another, another one be right back here we go again Walking sticks nice. Like that guy said yesterday I ran into on the other trail over there. Walking stick can sure save your knees. Now, let me see if I can get down here with that stone lens. So hold on. Here I go. Get me here on these rocks. I don't want to bounce you too much. Yeah. Made it all right. I could have went around there, I guess. But I just wanted that on the video. They definitely have some good burns over here. Also, I noticed uh, yesterday, after I got that other one developed, developed from yesterday, uh, I was listening to it earlier before I came out here and uh, you could hear where I had uh, had the lapel stuck inside my jacket and when I'd move the jacket would rub against it and, and uh, just in a, I don't know, two or three spots it wasn't that bad but I just more aware of it I guess you might think it's something else but that's what it what it was, just rubbing inside this old heavy jacket. I there's a trail where people went around when, when this gets, uh, water's high down here and gets washed over, they come around that way. You can see the uh, marker right up there. I'm gonna go run the base down here and kind of get yeah, where this water is down here. Yeah, temperature-wise, nice. Boy, I got this heavy jacket on me. Now, the other day, or last weekend, I think it was. I got a little chilly. Yeah. Man, look at them. Crazy bunch of rocks up through there, would you? I like watching the videos that have the where they're showing the volcanic activity. And they show the, some of the other undersea stuff. Yeah, there's a trail coming around right there. Let me go up here and go to the side. Oh, we might look underneath this tree lamp. There we go. Okay. 
Okay. Had a good day in church this morning. The Lord is really blessing us. I don't know what your persuasion is, what you think about Christianity or anything like that. But, uh, I thought I'd give a little, little praise today for a good day. I'm not making these videos to preach, but I just want to want to mention it. It'll help you understand a little bit where I'm coming from. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. I felt the camera shake then when I stepped on that rock. Right. Let me get over here. Whoa, baby. And there's a trail right there. It's on that way. That sand on that rock on the bottom of shoe is pretty slick. Let me see here. Feel like a goat. That's something else I find amazing. I was uh, <laughs> watching some 4K video on uh, YouTube of uh, different parts of the world, you know, where, like the mountain goats and stuff, and how, sh how uh, sure footed they are. And I tell you, to see them goofy things coming, coming down that mountain side. Something else. I know if I was a bobcat or something, I sure wouldn't want to be a chase them. Well, they have some leaning to see the, on this one that I seen. I can't remember where. This is somewhere in the United States or somewhere that they were showing that. Where uh, Lenix was after. After some goats and or sheep, not goats, or sheep. It tried, but it didn't make it. Well, the sheep did, but the lens didn't catch it. middle of here again I don't know why it looks like if I ever get that Another case for my camera for underwater filming. The one that came with it, I, I couldn't modify it before I could plug in this, this external mic and still be, have the protection of the other case. Of course, it's got holes in it now. And uh, well, I can kind of, in the warmer weather, there's a lens. Uh, I'm not much of a photographer, but it mentioned about an infrared, infrared lens that I can get like for uh, underwater. I might do something like that just to have something a little bit different. Maybe a place like this to have the get down there and, and uh, dunk it under the water. Might be kind of interesting. Okay. Get back over here. Continue up the trail. I think I got bouncing. I feel the, feel the camera bouncing a little bit. It's on that narrow band. And, 
I'll rig up something that, that, that will uh, that not necessarily eliminate it, but definitely improve it. I thought about getting some kind of good Velcro and get me a good belt. I got plenty of used belts that, that uh, I could use a stiff. This thing I have on now is uh, it does pretty good, but it does allow it to give a little. I might try. Uh, oh, when I get a wild hair, try something like that. Let me get up here. Turned off pretty good right there. Couldn't have meant to let's see there. Nice little ledge for the water to shoot off. But you can see right there how that water's been way up there. That's a that's pretty deep over there too, all the way over to here. Come down, come down through here. I'm bad at this rumbling. But now that I'm talking, might be might be able to hear. Well, with the uh, excuse me, with the thing right around my head, you might not be able to hear anything. But I'll find out. I'm not much for music. I mean, I like music, but uh, I kind of like to hear people talking on the videos. And, well, some people are not all that talkative. I'm usually not, but I do have my moments. Back and over that way. There's more rock sliding down the hillside. I'd be there a long time to have those big old trees growing up out of it. Okay, let's do a little climbing here. Get up here a little higher. Yeah, up there was the ridge I was on the other day when that crazy bachelor ran down on me. <laughs> uh, I don't know exactly why I was at. It's a good probably 15, 20 minutes down that way. Before I got over this part was on the ridge. I, I could hear the water running down here from up there, but That was part of the videos that I'd done. Done five parts and first time I got them uploaded, some was just a little bit longer than the others and then uh, time they were uploaded and usually if you start out with the last one first, then when uh, they get loaded upon YouTube, they, they turned out one, two, three, whatever, you know, still a three, two, one or something like that. Well, this time, not sure what took place, but there's a couple of them out of that already, though I do have a mark, part one, part two, three, four, five, but um, it's all right. It's all the same. If you do happen to look at them, 
that's one reason I wanted to go back and just do one one long one and uh, this last one I put a break in the middle of, of the two that I put together and uh, where, where you could stop and and uh, finish it later on so you, I give the minute mark where it stopped and where the other one started and that there's a note in there that I put in there that we'll show you and, and uh, if you do go back and watch it the other one's 21 blah 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 21 22 minutes long and then it ends but that was the one for uh, yesterday the seventh of course today's the eighth and I won't get this one uploaded uploaded until tomorrow sometime I'll I'll get started on this evening if I get home get prepared to upload Nice little flat area through here, kind of away from the rocks. Look at that. from the creek that's over there but you know, maybe a hundred feet or so yeah I'm gonna have to get there get up on that ridge up there for the years out and just travel along up there and see what's up there I can get completely to the top of it Over this log. Okay, the camera hasn't moved any. Yeah, this is a change from walking in those leaves like I did there yesterday on the other, other session over. Of course, it was off trail too. Let's go up this way just to more folks. This man, you trail to get away from the water that runs down through this, run down through here.
Take a little stroll over here. Take a look at this. Pretty flat through there, that rock is. Get up here. There we go. You know, clump of rocks over here. Yeah, right in here. I seen that person yesterday had to, well, not yesterday, but. Saturday, was it Saturday? Friday. Well, whatever it was. Hey, feet stuck in the water. Chilly, chilly, chilly it was. It had to be. Yeah, I was up, I was up there. Pause here for a second and do some finagling. Well, up there is why I, just around that bend is why I crossed over. Had to walk the water. <laughs> Oh, it was chilly too, let me tell you. <laughs> time I got, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> time I got home with my socks being soaked and Boots too. Got them things pull off my feet was a little wrinkled. <laughs> okay. <Looking> now. <laughs> As you can see right there, the green arrow on the trees, marking of the trail. This one here is about 23 long. I think I'm going to stop here and take a, a photo of this and call it a day. Thank you for watching and God bless. See you later.